This is Waves Clarity VX, and it is a noise reduction plugin specifically tuned for voice. So podcasting, streaming, singing, reporting, anything that has to do with voice. You wouldn't want to use this on noisy instrument recordings. For that, you'd use one of the other you know, Waves noise reduction plugins. Now, there's also a pro version of Clarity VX, but we're going to focus here on the standard version. Let's go ahead and check it out. But I thought you might want a copy of this. I certainly would. We'll start here on something pretty simple. This is PC noise. Let's just play this back. Welcome to my podcast with lots of annoying background noise, so it's difficult for the listener to pay attention. You hear all of that background noise? Right there. And of course, once you add uh, some compression on that, you're going to bring it up even further. And of course, you're going to be using compression on any kind of a uh, professional voice uh, voice track. So we'll employ Clarity VX here. Now there's a stereo version and a mono version. We're using the stereo version right now just so we can see all of the uh, other controls right here. And operation is pretty simple. When you first put it on your track, it will be in the broad one setting and the single analysis. You do have another neural network that you can choose. We'll get to that in just a second, but these neural networks are trained for certain kinds of sounds and the neural networks also learn as you go along. So if there's an abrupt change in the speaker or an abrupt change in the background noise, you can always reset that neural network right here. And you'll also notice all of these tool tips, uh, as long as you have that turned on right up here, show tool tips, and that will show you what everything does. So all we really need to do is turn this one knob to remove all of that background noise. Welcome to my podcast with lots of annoying background noise, so it's difficult for the listener to pay attention. But luckily with Waves Clarity VX, we can completely remove all of that annoying background noise with just one knob and still retain the quality of the vocal. And we can see here exactly what it's doing, the amount of reduction in this graph. So again, this one part right here, which is just noise, now we'll turn this back up and it is silent. So now we have something that is a bit more complex, a track that was recorded in a room with a TV on or in a room with say other people, uh, other people speaking. We'll start here with the broad one setting, although I don't think it's going to work very well because broad one will keep the main voice and the secondary speech. So speech in the background is going to be considered secondary speech in this case. I can just, I can remember it better, but you have... And now we are recording in a room with other people talking or with a TV left on in the background. So let's see how well Waves Clarity VX can do with this. And it's actually very important because let's say there's a TV on in the background. Okay, so it's removing some background noise, but it's really keeping the speech. We don't really want that in this case. Let's switch over to the broad two neural network. And this should keep uh, keep mainly the the uh, close mic voices. So let's check this one out here. Left on in the background. So let's see how well Waves Clarity VX can do with this. And it's actually very important because let's say there's a TV on in the background while you are recording your podcast or your YouTube video. What are you going to do if a copyrighted song is picked up by YouTube and then your podcast? or your YouTube video gets uh, gets knocked for a copyright violation. Well, with something like Waves Clarity V, so that's much, much better. Only a tiny, tiny bit of that is uh, is coming through now. And just have the vocal in there, and then your, uh, your video won't trigger any kind of a copyright violation from, again, that TV on in the background. Or of course, if other people are talking in the background, uh, Waves Clarity VX works very well for that as well. Very good. It's done a very good job on that. And also, again, the neural network learns as uh, as it goes along and does an even better job of separating that voice from the background. Let's move on to another sort of uh, difficult situation, a tricky situation. All right. So again, we have the mono version here. The mono version doesn't have the, uh, the other controls. We'll get to those again in a second with these uh, stereo tracks. So now we have an air conditioner. I'm sure we've all been in uh, in this situation before. I'm down here to our air conditioner. Let's just hear this. It is time to record your podcast, but it is sweltering outside over a hundred degrees. So you really have to have the air conditioner turned on. But of course the problem is, all right. So again, 
you're recording your podcast, it's very hot outside, you have to have the air conditioner turned on, and then it leaves you with really horrible audio, especially once you start adding some compression, uh, compression in there as well. So we'll use Clarity VX to clean up this air conditioner sound. We'll use Broad 1, at least we'll start with Broad 1. We can always switch over to Broad 2 if we need to. It is time to record your podcast, but it is sweltering outside over a hundred degrees. So you really have to have the air conditioner turned on. But of course the problem is now the audio sounds absolutely awful. So what do you do? No, you don't have to dial out all of the ambience of the background noise. You can leave a little bit in there, uh, you know, just to make it sound like you're in a space. Do you cancel the podcast? Do you turn off the air? Let's switch over to broad two because this is quite a bit of background uh, ambience. Be awful. So what do you do? Do you cancel the podcast? Do you turn off the air conditioner and then you and perhaps a guest sit in a steaming hot studio for an hour or two? That doesn't sound very conducive to open and honest discussion. But luckily with Waves Clarity VX, you can leave your air conditioner on. Go ahead and have your podcast and simply clean it up later on using Waves Clarity VX. There we go. It's done a great job on that vocal, completely removed that extremely noisy uh, air conditioner right there. Also, you can change, I should mention, you can change the size of the GUI up here as well just by clicking your little hamburger icon and set that to the size that you want. Let's move on to another example. This time, um, maybe your reporter, somebody who's out on the street, it's very noisy, and you're not sure if the news station is going to be able to use your uh, your package after you uh, send it in. So let's check uh, let's check this out here. This is your roving reporter here on the noisy streets of New York City. Tell the people back at the news station I don't know if this package will be able to be aired because of all of the commotion around me. You there, sir? Do you have something you would like to add? Uh, well, you know. Okay, so that's very very noisy. In this case, again, we're going to use the Broad 2 because we do have some people talking in, uh, in the background. So I think Broad 2, the Broad 2 neural network is going to work much better for this. Let's check it out. Oh, if this package will be able to be aired because of all of the commotion around me. You there, sir. Do you have something you would like to add? Uh, well, you know, if you just use something like Waves Clarity, it'll clean it all up for you. Thank you, sir. I was not aware that such miracles existed. Oh, the miracles of the modern world. Back to you in the news station. All right, so that's done a very, very good job of removing all of that background ambience. And it's also done a very good job of keeping the detail of the voice. You know, a lot of noise reducers, if you have a very you know, busy track behind you, a lot of background noise behind you, and you really have to drive those things, you can really kill the voice, especially like the top end, but you can also kill the, the low end and the mids as well. And Clarity VX has done a very good job, again, using those neural networks that have been trained through you know, millions of different examples uh, to recognize voice and only affect the voice in a non-destructive way. And it doesn't leave behind a bunch of artifacts. I just wanna point one thing out real quick here in this track. There's a little beep that's not caused by Clarity. Uh, I think I actually tapped the microphone or something while recording this. So I just want to show you this here real quick, just so you know. Miracles existed. Oh, the miracles of the modern world. Back. Right there. Right there. Let's hear this beat. I'll turn off clarity, just so you know. It's not clarity doing that. Back to Of the modern world. Back to you. Right. I had hit the microphone or something right there. Of the modern world. Back to you. All right. So it's not clarity adding any artifact that was actually in the original audio. And clarity has done a very good job of simply keeping the voice, keeping the detail of the voice and removing that extremely noisy background. Thank you, sir. I was not aware that such miracles existed. Oh, the miracles of the modern world. Back to you in the news station. All right, we have removed that noisy background. Let's move on to another example here. Now, this was uh, recorded with an iPhone, by the way, so Maybe you're out recording your new YouTube video, your super awesome, cool YouTube video out on the streets, but you didn't realize it was going to be so noisy. Let's check that out. What's up, bros? I'm out here on the streets recording my new super cool, awesome YouTube video, man, where everything's so awesome and cool, and I always like point in the thumbnails and make a funny face. <laughs> it's so original, bros, but also I'm like totally confused. Okay, so that is a lot 
of background uh, background noise. We'll start with Broad 1. We might need to go to Broad 2 for this one because it's just so much uh, ambience in the background. What's up, bros? I'm out here on the streets recording my new super cool, awesome YouTube video, man. So it's already done a very good job. I think Broad 2 might do a little bit better uh, just because there's so much ambience here, but it's actually done pretty well. And again, you don't have to go crazy with this. You don't need to make it completely silent. You can leave some uh, some ambience in there. Where everything's so awesome and cool, and I always like point in the thumbnails and make a funny face. Oh, it's so original, bros. But also, I'm like totally confused. Is this snake oil? I have no idea, man. But I'm also kind of bummed. Let's go ahead and switch over to Broad 2 because it's just so much ambience there. Where everything's so awesome and cool, and I always like point in the thumbnails and make a funny face. Oh, it's so original, bros. But also, I'm like totally confused. Is this snake oil? I have no idea, man. But I'm also kind of bummed, bros. Because all this background noise is gonna ruin my super cool, awesome YouTube video, bros. Oh, you know what, bros? Before we continue, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, okay? Because that's totally original to do in every freaking video, all the freaking time, bros. Oh, what's that, man? I can use Waves Clarity VX to clean this up. Thanks for the tip, guys. Okay, so as you can see in this person's super awesome cool YouTube video where they love to point in the thumbnails and make funny faces, they can save that noisy recording by using Waves Clarity VX. It's done a very good job here. Let's move on to another sample. Yes, we're covering basically everything in a single video, man. So now we have a stereo mic or a stereo track, and this is really where your analysis comes in. You know, if you have different ambiences on both sides, you can change your analysis from single to double. Now it does use more CPU power, but again, if there's dissimilar ambiences on both sides, you might want to try a uh, double, and then you might, you might also want to pull your width down just so you don't have a wide voice because you don't want a wide voice, right? So let's check this out. We'll start with single. I think single will work on this because we're just, uh, we're just outside in this case. All right, now we are outside using a stereo microphone. All of the ambience of uh, outside being captured, perhaps our left and right sides might be a little bit different, but no problem when using Clarity VX from Waves. You might need to mess with that analysis, again, if you're using something like a stereo microphone. But All right, so it's done pretty well. We can go to a double on that. Clarity VX from our left and right sides might be a little bit different, but no problem when using Clarity VX from Waves. You might need to mess with that analysis. Again, if you're using, again, I pull that width down. It just doesn't sound right with it really wide here. No problem when using Clarity VX from Waves. You might need to mess with that analysis. Again, if you're using something like a stereo microphone, but again, Clarity VX can clean this up for us very very quickly with that single knob. All right, so again, it's done a very good job of keeping the voice and removing just the background noise. This is also important if you're shooting something on location, you're recording the same scene in different, uh, you know, maybe different times of day where the background noise is different, then you try to cut those scenes together with all that background noise and those voices. It's gonna be a noticeable thing, especially if you're taking cuts from, uh, you know, different, uh, different recordings and you're putting, you know, splicing words and et cetera, et cetera. So using Waves Clarity VX in your post-production, if you're creating some sort of a movie or TV show or something, can be very, very helpful as, uh, as well. Let me come back up here just real quick. And we'll, real quick, we'll check here on uh, Waves Clarity VX Pro. Now the Pro version, you're gonna have the same, uh, the same neural network. So you're gonna have the same quality. You just get, you just get a, few more, a few more options. In, uh, in the pro version. So let's check this one out. This is your roving reporter here on the noisy streets of New York City. Tell the people back at the news. So we're still using the broad two in this case, and it's doing just as well of a job. Station, I don't know if this package will be able to be aired because of all of the commotion around me. Now, one thing you do have in the pro version is you can actually pull out processing in individual bands, and these bands are also movable. So if there is background noise, for example, only in the low end, leave these up to 100, and then you can dial these down here in the upper end so there's less processing in those areas. 
but you can also, instead of simply dialing, dialing out background noise, you can actually dial out the voice in the pro version, which is actually pretty cool. You there, sir. So now we're just hearing the ambience instead of the voice. It'll clean it all up for you. Thank you, sir. I was not aware that such miracles existed. You can also hear the difference here with your Delta. Tell the people back at the news station, I don't know if this package will be able to be hit. You can solo each band. Found me. You there, sir. You have a pure gain control for each band. And you have a uh, process amount that you can, it's like a VCA controller. So if you set up a certain sort of a, maybe a staggered setting here, you can adjust those in tandem. Then you have an ambience gate here. Again, you have pop-ups for all of this stuff, which is really cool. I'm glad Waves is doing this now because those pop-ups make learning these plugins so much, uh, so much faster for the majority of people. Uh, do you have something you would like to add? Uh, well, you know, if you just use something like Waves Clarity, it'll clean it all up for you. Thank you, sir. I was not aware that such miracles existed. Oh, the miracles of the modern world. You also have a sensitivity control, which can uh, drive uh, drive the uh, the side chain level higher, just so it uh, might do a little bit better with the separation of the voice in the background. So that, that's just a quick look at the uh, at the pro version. You also have a light version uh, of that uh, GUI. So let's check out another example using the standard version. And this, again, a very tricky thing. This is a washer and a dryer. Let's go ahead and pull this up again. Got some uh, compression on there, as you would on any professional voice sound. If I bypass the compression, it's still pretty noisy. Now we have a washer and dryer running. And but once you put on that compression, which again, you'd have to for if you want a professional sound in the background, very noisy. Of course, if you had a vocal like this, pumps it up even higher. So let's try clarity vx on this again this is a stereo track so we have perhaps you might want to put your analysis on double and this is a pretty loud background noise so i might try broad two i'll go to broad one first let's go to single for now uh just check this out now we have a washer in turn it on and dryer running in the background very noisy of course if you had a vocal like this it would probably be ruined so let's see if waves clarity V. So it's already done a pretty good job here. Might be slightly better with broad two. Let's check that one out. Ground very noisy. Of course, if you had a vocal like this, it would probably be ruined. So let's see if waves clarity VX can go to double on that and clean this up. We're using a stereo microphone here, by the way. Again, washer and dryer, very noisy. Let's see how it cleans up using waves clarity. VX. So again, it's done a very good job of cleaning up this extremely noisy voice recording. You know, generally, you're probably not going to have something that noisy. Uh, but if you do have something that noisy, you can absolutely use Clarity VX on that. Everything from extreme noise, you know, an extreme washer and dryer to something simple like some you know, background PC noise, your uh, Clarity VX can take care of all of that. Now we have a washer and dryer running in the background, very noisy. Of course, if you had a vocal like this, it would probably be ruined. So let's see if Waves Clarity VX can clean this up. We're using a stereo microphone here, by the way. Again, washer and dryer, very noisy. Let's see how it cleans up using Waves Clarity VX. All right. But of course, Waves Clarity VX is not just home in your DAW, it's also home in your NLE or video editor, uh, for those who don't know. So let's check out maybe this vintage video that, uh, of course, has a lot of uh, background noise in it. How do you choose a date? Whose company would you enjoy? Well, one thing you can consider is looks. So let's go ahead and dial this up. Now I'm using the broad one because the background noise isn't that bad. I'm using this single analysis, even though this is a stereo track. Uh, we don't need to use double unless uh, there's really a need for it because it does use more CPU power. Woody thought of Janice and how good looking she was. He'd really have to rate to date somebody like her. So we're already pretty good there. Again, you don't have to go insane with this. You don't have to kill all noise we can leave a little bit of ambience if we wish except well it's too bad janice always acts so superior and bored 
she'd make a fellow feel awkward and inferior. That's pretty much clean right there. Well, perhaps someone who doesn't feel superior. There's Betty. And yet, it just doesn't seem as if she'd be much fun. What about Anne? She knows how to have a good time, and how to make the fellow with her relax, have fun too. Yes, that's what a boy likes. Yes, that's what a boy likes when it comes to waves. Clarity, VX. One more sample here. And we'll start with it all the way down again. Stereo track, but I'm using this single analysis. Broad one is going to work just fine for this. And of course, again, if you have different speakers coming up, you can always reset that neural network. Okay. That's something to look forward to. I'll see. Well, I'm not going to tell you all my ratings, but I thought you might want a copy of this. I certainly would. I think everyone here should rate himself and have his friends rate him this way to make sure he grows up evenly and gets rid of those infantile reactions. So that again, pretty much completely clean. It's got rid of all that, you know, crackling in the background. How old are you? Wouldn't you like to try rating yourself on a sheet like this? All right, and again, I just want—I just want to make this point. Clarity VX is for is for voice. Okay, so even though there is background music there, it's actually pulling down that background music, which is why in the beginning I said. If you have music that you want to denoise, use one of the other Waves products. This one is tuned specifically for voice, okay? So if I take this way up here, right, it's actually pulling that music down. So that's great. Again, that's great for a podcaster, somebody who's recording in an area where somebody might have a TV on. You're, you're in a, a, you know, a noisy environment where, again, somebody's playing some copyrighted song. That's great because you can use Clarity VX to clean up some of that uh, background noise, that copyrighted music, so that way, you know, YouTube doesn't uh, uh, kick you off when it uh, triggers that. But if you're trying to denoise an instrument or music, then you'd probably want to go for, you know, one of the other Waves uh, uh, denoising products, and they have, they have plenty of them out there. So again, Waves Clarity here has uh, done a great, great I job. I think I'd like my pencil back now. It's there on the desk. Oh, thanks. Very good. Thanks, Mr. Edmonds. Goodbye. That's what a boy likes. Wouldn't you like to try rating yourself on a sheet like this? All right. So go ahead and check out Waves Clarity VX and clean up those noisy voice recordings. Stop the noise. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? Is it on the, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. 